when they walked in and ran into that stadium really to start the ball game and every seat was full and the people were loud and people stayed and I thought the uh, the crowd showed so much encouragement for our players during the ball game. Uh, start on offense, uh, really pleased with uh, Richard Walton uh, and, and to do what he did tonight he had to have a real good supporting cast. The, uh, the two Rickies played so well, the offensive line blocked, uh, the protection was so good but Richard also had a couple of guys blitzing him and he threw the ball up top and and made some really good plays. Uh, Please at the second offense came in and, and or, uh, Hodges scored twice and the second offense moved the ball and scored because that's something we need to do is, is work on some depth. Defensively, uh, we've got a lot of guys that played in their first game on defense and, and they weren't very pleased with themselves. I could tell they got uh, frustrated a little bit there in the fourth quarter in the second half and uh, we've got to play better on defense and, and we understand that. The Texas Longhorns unveiled the new Upper Deck Saturday at Darrell K. Rural Memorial Stadium. The pumped up horns ushered in the new Mac Brown era against New Mexico State. The horns were trying to erase the disaster of 1997. With Mac Brown now at the helm, anticipation has surrounded the Texas defense. And early on, they aimed to please. Anticipation also surrounded a little known guy by the name of Ricky Williams. And Williams aimed to please as well. Immense skepticism surrounded Richard Walton's succession at quarterback. But Saturday he stood tall to the task. On third and four, Walton completed to Brian White for 29 yards, setting up Ricky Williams' first touchdown jaunt in 1998. The Horns impressed on their opening drive to take a 7-0 lead. After a defensive stand preserved a 7-3 lead, the Horns went back to Air Walton. Walton found Derek Lewis over the middle for 22 yards. At the start of the second quarter, Walton gets blasted as he lost a perfect pass to Lewis for the Texas touchdown. Leading 14-3, the Horns defense decided to crank up the volume as Humphrey came with a disruption. The exuberant fans applauded and the Horns offense went back to work. Walton sought out the 97 freshman recepts record holder Kwame Cavill for 22 yards. Along with Cavill, Wayne McGarity makes his return in 98. If McGarity successfully returns from injury and Cavill continues to develop, the Horns could have their best outside threats since Mike Adams and Lavelle Pickney. Cavill's catch set Texas up inside the 10. From there, it was Ricky Williams' time once again. Williams' six-yard touchdown scamper put the Horns up 21-3 over New Mexico State. It was time for congratulations all around, especially from the big daddy himself, Mad Dog Madden. With five minutes to go in the first half, Hodling attempted to bring New Mexico State back, but instead he brought Texas a little closer to more points. A terrible throw in a triple coverage resulted in freshman DeAndre Lewis's first career interception. From the 36, Walton hooked up with McGarity for the play of the day. McGarity's 41-yard reception set Texas up at the 23. And then Ricky Williams torched New Mexico State again. The Horns were running away with things 28-3. And just for good measure, Phil Dawson's replacement, Chris Stockton, Boomed a 52-yard field goal to close out the half, 31-3. While the offense rolled, the defense also suffocated. But that would change in the second half. As the second began, the horns were cooling off just as New Mexico State began heating up. Hodling's touchdown pass bought New Mexico State within 31-10. However, Texas offense couldn't be stopped, namely Ricky Williams, who started getting busy, dusting off a spot for that little thing called the Heisman Trophy. Williams' fourth touchdown skedaddle put Texas up comfortably again by 28 points. 
as the spotlight continued to shine on Ricky Williams, Williams continued to pillage through New Mexico State defenders. Williams with the rumble. Williams with the little spin. Then Walton back up top to Wayne McGarity inside the New Mexico State Five. Finally, Williams lumbers home for the Texas touchdown. The Horns led 45 to 17, but there was one more prize left for Ricky Williams to claim. On the ensuing kickoff, the Horns special teams got to crash the party. Terrell Dillon's fumble recovery set Texas up inside the New Mexico State 15 and provided Ricky Williams with an opportunity to set a school record for touchdowns in a single game. Williams did exactly that, barreling in for record touchdown number six. For Williams, it was a successful start to 98. I think the people never got to run the ball now. We're going to run the ball down their throats. It's a good game. It's a good start you know, for the Heisman race. Um, six touchdowns and 215 yards, those are great numbers. But what weren't great numbers? The 33 points Texas gave up in the second half. A win's a win, but uh, you know, I want us to come out here and totally dominate tonight. And uh, you know, we, did, we did the first half. And uh, you know we didn't play well the second half, and that kind of that kind of makes you feel bad a little bit. But you know it's the first game; we have a bunch of adjustments to make, and uh, you know we got plenty of time. So uh, <coughs> we're just going to make those adjustments and uh, get ready for UCLA this week. For Longhorn fans, the Mac Brown era got off to a solid start tonight. Ricky Williams set a single-game record for touchdowns, and the Horns defeated the Aggies soundly. Well, the Aggies of New Mexico State. But if 36 points is any indication, the Horns still have lots of work to do on defense. Josh Pels reporting for the College Press Box.